Hey guys, thank you for tuning in. So as you can tell from the title of this video, we are going to do a quick tutorial on how we detangle our dry natural hair. I say we as though my daughter is doing hair, right? How I detangle our hair when it's dry. So as you can tell from the start, her hair was pretty dry and matted. She had it in a high pony. She had a cute little bun for Easter. Um, I'm going to start off just showing you the condition of her hair so you can see it happens to the best of us, right? So let's get started. So the first thing that I do is detangle. I always, not detangle, section. I always work in sections. Um, sectioning is your best friend. I'm going to take a little bit of water and leave-in conditioner and just spray it on her roots just to kind of get it moisturized. Um, I'm sure her scalp is dry. As you can see, her hair is dry. So I'm just massaging it into her scalp and then um, down the lengths of her hair, making sure to get her ends as well. So I don't want it soaking wet, but I want it a little more, a little more manageable. So you'll see me massaging it in and then just kind of working the mixture through. So you're going to see me using my fingers a lot. My daughter is extremely tender-headed. She gets it from her mama. Um, and you'll probably see her jumping a few times. She's uncomfortable. But I like to use my fingers kind of to pre-section just because you can kind of feel for the tangles um, as you're working. So I like to separate my, her hair or my hair, whoever's hair I'm doing. I like to separate our hair first um, and then incorporate any tools. Like if I'm using a comb, I'll go ahead and part once I have some type of pre-section like I don't need perfect lines but I need to see some scalp so that's what I'm doing now just kind of getting the sections ready to go and then you'll see me slowly start to detangle um, I do typically do a little more finger detangling but I was so excited to show you guys this brush comment down below if I should do a review on this brush because I'm telling you this brush is a game changer I've been trying to put people on for a while I know a lot of people are into the Denman brush but y'all you need this brush. Details will always be down below, but you need this brush. Um, okay, so let's get into it. So as you see, we all know that you should start at the ends of our hair to detangle. I like to start at the ends and then slowly make my way up and then continue going downwards, if that makes any sense. Um, you'll get a better visual. I tried to get a few angles, but I always start at the bottom, work my way up, and then if I'm in the middle, I'll just continue brushing down, and then as I go to the top, I'll brush the top and then continue brushing downwards just to make sure that towards the end, I'll be able to get a full pass through with the comb. Like I wanna completely detangle her hair. So that's what you see me doing. Um, I did do a few additional passes through just to give you an idea of how thoroughly I like to detangle, but I promise you it doesn't take that long. Right now all I'm doing is just kind of flattening it against her back just to give you an idea of where we are with the detangling. So it's it's a lot easier to kind of get the brush through, um, which is kind of what I'm trying to show you now. It's kind of hard to show you, but I'll... Um, try to put my thing my fingers through it too just to give you an idea and I like to detangle to the point where I can completely move my fingers through well easily or with no issue at all all right now we're going to incorporate our favorite curl cream which I will probably do a little review on pretty soon. Um, <laughs> she's telling you guys the name of it, but I edited it out. Sorry, baby. All right, so I'm applying the cream to her hair. This part is optional because remember, I'm doing this for anyone who is possibly sectioning their hair for a pre-poo, um, just to get their sections ready for a shampoo, to stretch their hair for a style. I mean, the purpose of you detangling is going to vary, but if you are sectioning to do your next style, then it's a good idea to apply your products in sections like I'm doing. And then I am going to twist her hair. So I'm kind of just doing jumble twist at this point. We're in quarantine, y'all. If you're watching this video outside of quarantine and you have no idea what I'm talking about, then God almighty, congratulations, we made it out. 
But right now, if you're feeling me, if you're at home, you're trying to figure out what to do with your hair or you're struggling with taking care of your hair, comment down below. Let's talk in the comments because you are not alone. See what I'm talking about? Didn't I come with the views, y'all? I tried to give y'all angles. I'm trying. So this is basically what I was saying. I just um, start at the bottom and then I'll continue working my way up, but bringing it all the way down. So starting at the bottom, working your way up, and then brushing all the way through or finger detangling all the way through, but this is how I do it, just to make sure that the entire section is thoroughly detangled. Now I'm going to finish this section, twisting that bad boy up. Don't forget them ends. Now we are good to go. Look at those juicy sections, y'all. Look at those twists. Yes, boo. This is six. Stop it! <laughs> you are not Cardi B or a rocker. Put your tongue in your mouth. <laughs> My tongue wants some food. I can't with you. <laughs> Did I spray you in the face? Yes! I'm sorry. Let's <laughs> try to spray your hair. Sorry. I do not like water in my eyes. Now, just in case you forgot, I'm bringing you another angle so you can see how I start. So I've already sprayed her hair. I'm going to apply a little bit of product, smooth it through. Did we talk about that? We didn't even talk about the smoothing through process, but there's another video for that. We'll talk about that in another video. Right now, we just wanna make sure that your hair will be thoroughly detangled. So we're going to start at the bottom, work our way up, and then comb it or brush it all the way through. Now, do not be afraid to continue to use your detangling tool as you're twisting, braiding, whatever you're doing, because you wanna make sure that your hair will stay detangled, and you want a smooth, clean twist or braid. Now one thing that I didn't really notice until I started to edit the video was that there are some sections of her hair that were a little more wet than others. That's totally fine. Um, you just want to keep in mind the drier your hair, you want to really take your time with the detangling process so you're not ripping your hair out and you're not causing too much tension or pressure as you're combing or brushing. So if your hair is more wet, either way you want to be gentle, but if your hair is more wet, then obviously the product and the brush are going to glide through as opposed to it being a little more dry, there's gonna be a little more tension. So just be careful, take it easy, take your time because ultimately the goal is to be able to pass your fingers through, right? Uh, I can't even, it doesn't even hurt. Right, detangled it. It's so soft. Yep. Try again. <laughs> so if you made it to the end, I want to say thank you. Thank you for watching. As always, I am putting all of my contact information down below. I legit want to hear from you guys because this quarantine is driving me crazy. Shout out to all the teachers, shout out to all the parents that have now become teachers while being full-time employees, but also being full-time parents. Shout out to the healthcare workers, shout out to the essential workers and employees. I love you guys and I really truly hope that you are staying safe. Thank you for tuning in with me. Let me know what other content you wanna see because I need to get more things to you. I hear that some of you are struggling with doing your hair and that just breaks my heart. I want everybody to be able to care for their hair and we're starting with the essentials. So this was how to detangle. Thumbs up if you liked it. I hope to see you guys in the next video. Please, please, please take care and 
Call someone and tell them that you love them today. And we are fully detangled. Turn around so you can see the back. We are fully detangled, ready for our next style or ready for an easy wash day if you're washing in sections. See the front? You could actually wear this out with a cute little headband. Bye guys.